It would appear that St. John's Hospital is also having some problems involving the swine flu vaccines. Some 4,000 H1N1 vaccines were spoiled after a refrigerator malfunction yesterday. Gosh, favorite thing about my job? The view, definitely. I mean, where else can I get paid this much to stare at Catherine's rack all day? <sighs> but seriously. Due to this error, there's a strong rumor that there's only one vial of the H1N1 vaccine left in Springfield until further notice. See what I mean? Dr. Gerald Sebastian of St. John's Hospital joins us in the studio to either confirm or deny this rumor. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Sebastian. Oh, it's my pleasure. So what can you tell us about the status of the H1N1 vaccines? Thousands of people in Springfield need to be vaccinated, and they're even fighting over these vaccines. Is it true that there's only one vial of the H1N1 vaccine left in Springfield? I can assure you, Catherine, that's just not the case. There aren't enough, well, there are plenty of vaccines to go around. This is a crisis, excuse me, this is not a crisis. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a doctor. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. It would seem that these rumors are spreading faster than the swine flu itself. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a relief. I was going to go get vaccinated right now if that was the case. <laughs> I'd race you there. <laughs> I'd win. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <clears throat> well, you heard it here first. You can rest easy, Springfield. Join us tomorrow where we will tell you where you can find the best price for a Thanksgiving turkey. Also, tonight's broadcast will be my last night with Channel 4 as I will be transferring to Chicago tomorrow. I have enjoyed working here at Channel 4 and appreciate everything they have done for me, and I thank them for this opportunity. Well, I'm sure some of us will miss you, Catherine. I'm Edward Burlington. And I'm Captain Reynolds for Channel 4 News. Have a good night. You see how Edward treats me? I'm so glad today's my last day. I'm getting out of here and I'm moving to Chicago, so I don't have to deal with that anymore. I'll be able to work with the real professionals. And cut. I think one of my strongest qualities is that I try to promote teamwork all the time. We're a team. Everyone loves everyone here. <laughs> do I like my coworkers? Ask yourself this. Do you like being attacked by rabid bunnies? I didn't think so. Great job tonight, guys. Seriously. Okay, just so you all know, I have a document here from the network that says we need to get our swine flu vaccinations tonight. So Dr. Sebastian was not only here for his interview, but to be administering the vaccinations as well in room 320 upstairs. So gather your things and meet you up there in 10. Okay, <laughs> okay. So I've been waiting for the perfect chance to ask Catherine to go drinking with me now for about two years. And I guess since today is her last day, that also makes today her lucky day. You'll get to see the love doctor at work. Hey, Catherine. Oh, hey, Joe. You know, since you're going to Chicago, I thought maybe we could go out and get some drinks tonight. Maybe uh, get some shots. You can get to know the doctor. The doctor? The love doctor. <laughs> as ridiculous as that pickup line is, Joe, unfortunately, I had to pack tonight. Oh, that's, that's cool. I had some stuff that I was doing anyways. So. so how about we just get one shot? One shot for Springfield. How's that? I, I think I have time for that. Yeah, one shot. We'll take one shot for Springfield. All right, let me go get my purse. I'll see you in a minute. Hey, Liz. So, call me paranoid, but did Dr. Sebastian seem a little uneasy, like there was only one vaccine left for Springfield? We're all going to get our shots soon, sweetie. I wouldn't worry about it. So I just talked to Catherine. She said she's going to get the one shot for Springfield with me. One shot for Springfield? What do you mean? Well, that's what Catherine said. She's going to get the one shot for Springfield. I guess the doctor worked his magic on her. The doctor? I knew it. He lied. Maybe the doctor is going to give her the last vaccine. We've got to go talk to Catherine. Did you talk to the doctor about the one shot for Springfield? Cuddy's got you calling him that now, too? Yeah, I did. Why? Is it true? Just one shot for Springfield? 
Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Not if I take it first. Here, le let me get to the bottom of this. Edward, can I borrow your phone? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, no, I am not getting the swine! There's only one vaccine left for Springfield, and it's mine! What? So it was touch and go there for a while, but it's like I said, we're all a team. We all work together. And as it turns out, there was enough vaccines for all of us. <laughs> <clears throat> was it worth it? You tell me when you're dead from the swine flu. Hell, after all that I really could use a drink, you know what I mean? So how about we go out and get that one shot for Springfield? And get to know the love doctor a little better. What? Wait. One shot for Springfield? Like in a bar?